might find it enjoyable, they yeah. like to show their products off. And they can chat with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you ever look at wood? Are you you a uh, are you a wood person? Or? Yeah. It requires a lot of effort and commitment. Well, I understand that. So. <laughs> So now you get a good look at White Calf Island on the south side. Uh, that's, that's a convenient one. You can hear it. Whatever you can hear it, that's where we're going Then just above, uh, just to the west of uh, White Calf Island, we have Eastern tip or the foot of uh, McDonald Island. You see a big cattail marsh here. It's one of the class one wetlands in the Thousand Islands. That's the uh, Ministry of Natural Resources has designation categories for protection of wetlands. And the class one wetland gets the highest level of protection. So uh, it'd be the aquatic plants, uh, the, the shoreline plants, and the uh, animals that we find here, uh, like pre uh, reptiles and amphibians that live in uh, these wetlands that are being protected. But of course, being on a national park island, they're gonna have uh, that level of protection anyway. On um, uh, the eastern tip, southeastern tip here of McDonald Island, we have a few private cottage lots, uh, but they're only, uh, I think, three. The, the, um, the little white cottage, the uh, boathouse and cottages we're coming up to with the green roof. 
um, off our uh, starboard bow here. That's called La Vignette. It's two little tiny islands that you'll see they're connected by a land bridge, or, or a footbridge, not a land bridge, a footbridge. And uh, this was built before 1900, and the architect for La Vignette was Frank Lent who was a, a local architect who built a lot of the cottages in the 1880s and 1890s around here. And he built the clock tower that still stands in Dan and Aquay. He built the Anglican uh, Church in El There's no electricity on uh, on McDonald Island, so people need some generators. Some people have generators. Uh, McDonald Island was originally was at one time called Hog Island when the uh, Charles Darwin survey was done in 1874. It was called Hog Island. We were here in uh, 1100 to 1500 after death of Christ. So this was then. Uh, filled in a big gap in their archaeological records because uh, any of the findings before then had been mostly uh, for, from before the time of Christ, like even 5,000 years, ours is called Campbell's Island. Uh, this second the week of, in 1886, a cottage was built there, and uh, that, that is still in the same family. Susan Smith uh, owns that now, and it was her that built that cottage originally. And, then, and that cottage has eight bedrooms, uh, two stories, and it has a uh, uh, living room, dining room, a stone uh, fireplace, and that fireplace comes up to the shoulder. You see the boats tied up around this little bay, that's Lower Island. 